Hello to all at overunity.com. Uh, welcome to the new lab. Um, right. A cooler 0083. Um, just let you have a look inside the main core transformer. You could possibly see the aluminium liner and um, center choke with a, a, a small amount of ferrite loading around the center point uh, to help uh, enhance the uh, output from the primary coil. Now coming back there's my yoke equivalent main transformer T1 and we've got our two IGBTs on very large heat sinks as you can see um, coming over breadboard with driver toroidal transformer 90 volts sorry 75 volts AC about 95 volts DC through a bridge rectifier and um, right anyway let's commence I'll just pop the supply on right have uh, five 60 watt light bulbs four over there and one in the uh, famous watt box I've got the frequency set to about optimum um, 9.7 kilohertz that's about trimmed as much as I can get the current down um, we've got uh, power supply unit is providing power for the uh, driver chip uh, moving over I hope this doesn't freeze up like it did last night um, I'm going to come in slowly the upper trace is uh, the signal being applied to the gates of the, or well, one of the gates of the RGBT. Um, the lower trace is uh, a 10 turn winding on the um, on the choke coil. Uh, and that is showing, as you can see. nearly three times the bottom trace if you notice is oscillating at three times the frequency of the drive frequency come up now to the other scope that's the waveform looking at the output from the whole unit, uh, it's actually, that's looking across the load of the light bulbs, you can see there's lots of, um, it's a sort of a, I, I'm assuming that as a resonance pattern, maybe somebody will put me straight, uh, so you can get a closer look at me. come over to the watt meter that's total input power 211 watts nine point seven nine point six something kilohertz input frequency AC amps on the input and uh, where you can actually come up a bit closer the lock box five is a 60 watt calibration so we're not up to full brightness admittedly but 
I don't think it's a bad show, considering, uh, say, 300 watts incandescent loading, uh, microwave capacitors, but uh, there's actually, I've got it uh, so that I can go with like a series parallel arrangement, and at the moment, uh, we've just got one microfarad, roughly, in the circuit. So, uh, coming round the bottom of the main coil, you see the two white leads with crop clips. They are the connections to the uh, capacitor, the, the uh, sheet aluminium capacitor, and they are in parallel with the, those thin uh, copper magnet wire uh, that we that come off the internal choke, which is around 600 turns. Um, I'll just come back a little. I can just show you what happens when we vary the frequency. I'm sorry, I'm trying to do about five jobs at one time. As you can see now, so the input current is going up. Where we had it roughly was about, you can see now the resonance is dropping away again and the current's increasing, so. Still got a bit of a ways to go. I don't think it's over unity. Um, however, uh, T1000 was saying that until I can actually separate this setup from the grid, um, in other words, by making a, an inverter, so uh, I've got a transformer coming so that I can create. Um, bear in mind that. Uh, <laughs> it's supposed to be 311 volts applied to the um, uh, yoke setup, not 90. So who knows what we might find when we actually get to, to drive it at full full chat, so to speak. Okay, well, thank you for watching, uh, and I hope uh, might inspire some of the other builders out there to have a have a look, possibly. Um, Although the term free energy is uh, a rather ambiguous one. Uh, this little setup's cost a fortune. <laughs> anyway, many thanks for watching. Um, best wishes to all. Cheers.